healthy. Like, I also did not think it was gonna be this short. <laughs> it's so short. She was like, don't cut it again before the wedding. And I was like, I'm not, but also like, why is it this short? I didn't tell you to do it this short. It does look so good. I just like, can't believe how short it is. Well, it, like literally your hair is gonna grow, but I would be like, okay, if it stayed that length for like a long no, time. No, I know, me too. I love it. This was the cut I wanted to get, but just like after the wedding. <laughs> She just did it before. It's fine. But it, it seriously feels so good. I love it. Also, why was I blonde for like a decade? Disgusting. Disgusting. At least you're naturally blonde. I was like faking it for a decade. So short. It feels so good. I love it. I also love that. It's just like my natural color. This is the chop that I wanted to get after the wedding i'm obsessed you guys are like wanting to cut your hair do it it literally feels so good and look at what the cute little pony it's gonna be Ugh. the rain is gonna stop soon and i kind of want to like wait to get my car washed till it like stops raining but i'm also starving so i think i might i really need to go to um run into home goods real quick because last time i was there i saw this massive briogeo conditioner like massive conditioner for like 20 or 30 dollars it was like half of what it retails for and so i want to go see if they have another one because i'm out of conditioner i'm also starving and i'm like craving a chipotle burrito god knows why but i kind of want to get that for lunch so i think we're gonna go there first i'm just like always forgetting to film Thing. It's like my food being made. Not that it's very exciting. It's literally chicken and rice. Ooh, I also got a side of corn, but I just realized I forgot to get a fork. So I feel like I'm just gonna have to eat it out of this. But I do not want to go back in there. So excited. I rarely like never eat breakfast. Like I need to eat breakfast, but I was just like ran out the door today. Anyways, I'm gonna eat my burrito, run into Home Goods, see if I can find what I'm looking for, and then I will check out. Check out. I will. Hello? Some music playing? I just left Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, got a bunch of groceries, and now I'm gonna go into Ulta real quick because I really need a new like boar bristle brush uh for like slicking back my hair when i do a bun i had one and then i threw it away because i was like i've had this forever like i need a new brush so i'm gonna go in there real real quick and then i think that's it i really want to go to anthropology but it's like the opposite direction and i have groceries in my car and i feel like i should just go home what else also i wanted to show you guys this really cute bag i got these bags made for all my bridesmaids can you see that isn't it so cute it's like a nudish pink color i feel like the camera is picking up pink but it looks very like sandy nude maybe like a hint of like a neutral blush or something i don't know then i got little pearls with all the initials on them because there will be a pearly situation going on on my wedding day. Not saying too much. Anyways, I got them off Etsy and they are so cute. They were, I wanted to get the Stony Clover ones, but those are so expensive. So I was looking on Etsy and I found them and I'll link them below if you guys want a new like cosmetic case pouch thing anyways i'm gonna run into ulta really quick and try to look for this brush try to find this brush maybe we'll see if they have anything else but i'm gonna try to make a snap because i have groceries in the back just about to head to the gym it's 4 50. um i got home unloaded the groceries i was gonna do a grocery haul but i feel like i got the same stuff that i always get and i don't want to like bore you guys with repetitive content so came home to a very exciting package so I worked with this brand a year ago and got in touch with them again and they sent over a little replenishment. I love this brand, it's called Symbiome. I'll link them down below, but their stuff is amazing and I love that it's like all very clean ingredients. It feels so nice on the skin. I love oils, like body oil, face oil, obviously like 
all that kind of stuff. This is new. I haven't tried this body oil yet, but it looks incredible. It smells really good. And then I also got these little face oils sent over. This face oil, the Symbiome Rewind 003 Postbiomic Oil. This is literally one of my favorite smells in the entire world. I don't even know how to explain it. It almost smells like it has a hint of vanilla in it. And it's like bringing back memories of like springtime in our old house. And I like miss it kind of. Anyways, I love this face oil. It's my favorite face oil on the entire planet. Um, this is for clarity and brilliance. So I got this originally because I was having a melasma issue as I mentioned in my last video um and it just helps like really clear up any dark spots and even out your skin tone and this one is new i haven't tried this one yet um the rebalance 001 postbiomic oil this is for renewal and radiance so i'm so excited to try these out i think you can well i know you can get a bigger version of this on their website which is the one i had a year ago i also used their serum which i loved everything is just so gentle and great for sensitive skin so i'll link their website down below i'm love a body oil like i could this, this is just making me so excited to like come home and shower i want to like put it on my hands right now also i miss my engagement ring we still need to get her back i don't know what is taking so long i called i called when was it I think I called Friday and I dropped it off literally three weeks ago and I was like, okay, well they said two to three weeks. It's been three weeks. She's like, yeah, it's probably gonna be four weeks. And I'm like, okay. Also, I got this little uh, sample of their cleanser, which I'm really excited to use because my cleanser is running out from the outset, which I loved, but I'm excited to try this new cleanser and just like see how I like it. And if I love, I'm gonna order it. We're gonna give this a shot tonight and tomorrow morning before i left i want to show you guys this and i uh was just about to place an order on cuts because i love their teas i have a black and white version of the tomboy tea cropped and it's seriously my favorite tea definitely expensive like way too much to be paying for literally a t-shirt but the quality is just so good so i saw that they're having a little father's day sale so i wanted to order myself that shirt in gray i was like telling ryan because ryan loves cuts as well and i was like cuts is having a father's day sale for like 20 percent off he was like well i'm a dad like you should get me something i got you something for mother's day and i was like okay come pick out a shirt because he has literally everything from cuts and i was like y you need to pick something out or else i'm literally gonna get you something you already have because you own everything from the store anyways i'm gonna put this order in also i want to order some stuff from skims I actually own nothing from Skims and I really want to get this bodysuit right here. <laughs> Not me just showing a girl in her bra and underwear. Anyways, it's called the Fits Everybody Square Neck Bodysuit. And like, I know everyone swears by this brand, so I'm really excited. And I'm going to order that and then this bra that was <laughs> on my screen. I'm going to place a little order and then head to the gym and come home and cook dinner. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I feel like I've been talking to the camera all day though, so we're going to see um and cook dinner i'm gonna do bolognese i have been putting it over broccoli and i actually like it so much more which i know sounds weird and people are probably like yeah right but i actually love veggies and i don't know it just like tastes really good putting bolognese over broccoli so i'm gonna do that and maybe make some garlic bread and just have a chill night at home so i'm gonna head to the gym now morning you guys i've been up for a few hours i have my coffee last night i got a text that my ring is ready so i'm gonna go pick that up today and i also want to bring them these two little vintage watches i had i went to the store in st helena a few weekends ago and they were having a little vintage watch sale so i got two watches and they came with bands but both of the bands were like really crusty and old and I was like, I'm just going to order new bands. So I ordered a new band. It's like a cream mm. croc embossed band. What? Ruru wants to go out so bad. Anyways, I'm going to take these guys on a walk. Yeah, we're going to go hunting. We're going to go hunting. I know. Crazy. You had to love love. Just look at this teddy bear. <laughs>
is around 2 o'clock. It's 2.23. I just pulled up to get my car detailed. There's a little bit of a line, so I'm probably just going to sit in here and chat with you guys for a little. Um, I got my ring back, and it feels so nice to have it back on my hand. I was also going to get this resized. But it was gonna cost $100 and my friend has a jeweler and she was like, he'll do it for free if I just bring it to him. So I think I'm gonna wait to do that. So I'm just wearing it right here so I don't lose it. Um, but it feels so nice to have my ring back and it's so sparkly. Anyways, um, gonna get my car wash right now. I just ran into Home Goods because I know you guys are probably like, you were literally there yesterday and I was, but I had this like revelation in my bathroom that I want, I need to like move some things around it and I wanted to get a shelf to hold all of my like oils and products because our bathroom is so small because we live in a shoebox right now and we have like no storage in our bathroom. And so I was thinking if I moved all of my face facial products to a shelf that would open up space in the drawer and my closet is just like busting like I'm busting out of my closet right now with products and just like things and stuff like that so I got um <laughs> toilet paper holder because I was thinking that's gonna clear up space on the shelf and then I can move my products onto the shelf and then you guys I found these travertine uh, like almost like little dishes or not dishes what are they called I don't know how I found them I'll show you guys them right now but they're wrapped up and I'm gonna show you when I get home but um, they were like a pack of three for like $30 or $40 and I was like even if I don't use this right now, I'm going to be using it in our future house because it was just, they're so stunning and it was such a score. And I would, when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, I need those right now. They're so pretty, but they're wrapped up. And then I got my dad a Father's Day card. Hi dad, you're probably watching this. Um, so when I get home, I'm gonna like move some things around in the bathroom and clear up some storage. Um, what else? I ran into Starbucks. I got my green tea even though it's a billion degrees outside I'm also dying to take the sweatshirt off, but I literally only have a bra on under this so I can't do that Anyways, I'm going to get my car detailed right now and just waiting in line for that And it's actually moving pretty fast um, And then I think I'm gonna walk over to this like outlet mall down the road a little bit And I don't think that there's like anything too exciting there but that's what the plan is as of now so I'm gonna check in with you guys probably when I'm like walking over there it's just right across the street so yeah I really wish I was not wearing a sports bra under this I actually got actually it's not even a sports bra it's like a little like really thin looking sports bra, but it's not actually a sports bra. I actually ran into Target and got this sports bra because I love this sports bra. I have it in black and it's just a really good sports bra. It honestly, it reminds me of the Lululemon Align bra that I have, but it's a little bit more supportive and it was like $20 and I just really like it. I like it also because it like has this, um, it's not wiring exactly, but it just looks really cool on. Um, so I got this honestly might throw this on and take my sweatshirt off because I'm just dying of heat And if I have to walk over It's like a little bit of a walk, but if I have to walk over there I literally cannot wear this sweatshirt. So we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing also they like go into your car and like vacuum and everything and I don't know where I'm gonna put this stuff And I don't want them to touch it or move it because it's gonna break. I am in shock I'm in disbelief. I saw these and I was like, what? And like, how has no one taken these yet? Literally like travertine slab stones. Um, and they came in this little three set. I think it's like a vanity bathroom organizational type of situation. And I don't even know where I'm going to put these. But all I know is that I needed them. And I'm going to find a home. Um, I think this would be really cute as like a little coffee table situation with like maybe that stuff on top. But I don't want to put this on marble. I'm honestly so over this marble table, but I'm not going to buy a new table right now, obviously, um, because we're going to move in a year or so and like I want to get all new stuff. But I feel like that'd be really pretty there. And I don't know, I was going to like scatter these around and like try to find homes for them. But how stunning. I think this one was 20. This one was like 15 and this was like 
10 and I'm so confused like I feel like an antique or not even like an antique shop like a I don't know like shop RLT or something would would sell these for like a hundred dollars and I'm obsessed so Go to your local home goods and see if they have these. I am so in love. These cherries that I got are so good. I cannot stop eating them. I think cherries are my new favorite fruit. They're just so good. I love cherry season. Anyways, it occurred to me while I was eating my cherries, this is completely off topic, but since I got my ring back and I got my watch fixed, I want to do a little jewelry collection. So I'm going to take you guys over to my room. I'm going to take my jewelry off. And we're gonna do a little overview of my jewelry collection and jewelry box because I have a bunch of new pieces that I love. I feel like I did my last jewelry collection like over a year ago, so I'm gonna have some cherries and then take you guys over to my jewelry box. Real quick before I get to my jewelry box, I wanted to show you guys my little bathroom shelf. So I kind of put like all my like nicer glass bottles up here. I used to have a bunch of toilet paper, but I moved that down. And so that cleared up a bunch of space for my drawers. I have my Osea lotion, which I love. It's the ocean lotion and it feels so nice. I like that it's not like insanely creamy and it's easier to apply. And then my OG cleansing oil. Some more OG products over there, but by the way, OG is having a 25% off sale this week, so I'm going to link uh, them down below, and I'll include my code. It's, yeah, 25% off, so if you buy anything, get that cleansing oil. It's amazing. Some Symbiome oils, my big Symbiome body oil. I'm really excited about this natural retinol from OG. It's new. I'm excited to, like, incorporate it more into my routine, and then my tan looks face drops, and my big skin dope face oil so very excited about this little situation also these jars I have no idea where they're from I've had them I think since I lived in my LA apartment and I want to say world market but I could be totally wrong so yeah little side note of my bathroom update here we have all of my jewelry my jewelry box is from Target I actually just got it like maybe a month ago and I like how much storage it has like everything can be so organized and then down below you can just like throw extra things um, but I just took off my everyday jewelry so we're gonna start with these pieces obviously first off we have my engagement ring I got 14 karat gold and then it has like a little kind of hidden halo underneath I don't know if you guys can see that everyday jewelry we have my Karen Lazar gold beaded bracelets these are 14 carats and they don't tarnish i literally wear them every day and they're amazing i also have my cartier love ring i actually got a new ring i had the thinner version i got it years ago as a graduation gift for my college graduation and then i upgraded it to this thicker one and i love that one my hoops right here i wear these in my first piercing these are from 14 carats and then these tiny little huggies from carbon and hide they're just like little diamond huggies i wear those in my second piercing so that's everyday jewelry moving on oh i also wear my missouri herringbone every single day but when i cut my hair since it was shorter i felt like this necklace was like pulling on my hair I don't know why, so I took it off. But yeah, I have seriously bought this herringbone like five times at this point because I just love it and I bought it for like other people for gifts. I just think it's the best herringbone out there and it doesn't tarnish, which I love. Um, this other necklace is an Eclatant necklace. I really think this necklace is so cute, but I don't think it's made that well. Like it always is falling off. The clasp like does not work. Like I'll be wearing it one day and it will just all of a sudden like detach and like fall onto the ground. My best friend also got it and she had the same issue and hers also like just split in half one day. It was so random. So I think it's really cute, but I wish it was made a little bit better. Um, and then moving on to watches. This is the vintage watch that I got fixed or like I put the band on it today. I put it like this so that it can kind of like stretch out because it was very stiff. Um, but I don't even know the brand, which I love that about it. Like, I think that's so unique. I love that it's gold. And I got this little white croc embossed band, or it's kind of like cream from Etsy. So I think this is going to be so cute for summer with the white band. I love that. Another watch I have. You guys, I want a Rolex so bad. And I, all <laughs> not that this compares at all, but it's two-tone, which I like. And it was, 
like a 1% of the price or something. It's from Larson and Jennings. I think it's pretty cute. I just love like a simple two-tone little watch and I don't know. I think it's made well and it's very small, which I love. Uh, moving on to, well, actually, here's the other watch face that I got from the vintage watch store. So I can interchange this band out and I'm not sure what the brand of that is either. I think it says Ecclesi, Ecclesi, I'm not really sure, but I thought they were both super cute. And then moving on to earrings, these are just from Amazon. They're little like Bottega dupe earrings. I saw someone post about them on TikTok and I was like, I need those. Um, they're honestly like the perfect size and they haven't hurt my ears. Like I have sensitive ears and they haven't hurt my ears and they're not heavy or anything. So I think those are really cute. Some other earrings, these are from Eclatant as well. They remind me of the Jennifer Fisher hoops, but they're better quality. Like they're gold filled instead of gold plated and I just love them. They're also pretty decent size. They're thick and lightweight. Some other earrings, I just have these little like, what are these? Safety pin earrings, I've had them forever and honestly I've worn them like once, they're just like not really my vibe. If anyone wants them, they're listed on my Poshmark. And then some other rings, I have my little diamond band. This is the ring I actually wanted to get resized to fit above my Cartier ring. This other little ring is from 14 Carats. It's just a pinky signet ring, it has an E on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so cute. And then this is literally my favorite piece of jewelry. It's a locket that I've had since I was a baby. Let me open it for you guys. Hold on. So it has my parents in it on their wedding day. And I just think this is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. I had a chain on it forever, like literally since I was a baby. But it was so rusty and gross. So I took that off. I need to get a new chain and like tangled everywhere. And I just think this is literally the cutest thing ever. So I will be making my future child one of those because i think it's so cute um so yeah this is my first drawer i'm gonna move this over actually and then second drawer is just kind of like random stuff i would put these up there because i'm obsessed with these hoops they're from the perfect hoop but they don't fit they are actually the perfect hoop they're so well made and i love how big they are and thin like i love like a big yet thin hoop but like not too big because like i don't want to look insane so yeah, the perfect tube. This little kind of like crystal bracelet. It's from Lisa Goslin. Just has little crystals and then happy face with crystals. And I think this is so cute. I'm worried that this will tarnish though if I wear it in the water. So I don't wear this every day, but I do love that bracelet, super cute. I just have some extra links from my watch and then just some like dust bag type things. I also have a ring in here from ring concierge it's like a little not spiral actually i guess it's kind of spirally it's like a spiral pinky ring with diamonds and i got it for my 30th birthday for myself but after i got it i was like why did i buy this like i don't need this so this is listed on my poshmark as well let me pull this out for you guys just in case anyone's interested this is what the pinky ring looks like i think it's a size three could be wrong it would say the correct size on my poshmark but it will be there if you guys are interested so yeah, this is my little jewelry box. I also have these ring sizers down here. Unsure why. I got them a while ago when I was, I think I was ordering this ring and I didn't know like what size to get. So I got these ring sizers. Oh, also, I didn't even see these. I forgot. I have these anthropology earrings that are kind of like the big Bottega dupe earring, but these are so heavy and they literally hurt my ears. So I wore them once and... I was like, these are so uncomfortable, and I got those instead. And honestly, I think these are much cuter, and they look better. So yeah, little jewelry overview. I love all my pieces. We have like a lot of nice pieces for every day, and then just some like cute, fun pieces that we can mix and match whenever we feel like it. I love jewelry. Like I have always been such a jewelry girl. Like ever since I was like in elementary school, I've been like obsessed with rings and everything. I love having like nice pieces that I can wear every day and that aren't going to tarnish and then just like kind of mixing and matching with like fun little pieces like these earrings and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little jewelry collection segment. I'm gonna play with dogs because they will not leave me alone and then I'm gonna cook dinner. The boys are literally snuggling. Rue was just giving Oski kisses. 
<laughs> the cutest boys on earth. Hello, friends. What What are you doing? What are you doing?